Hello everyone, my name is Miss Natalie Avalbisi, the English teacher for grades 9 and 10. I would like to welcome you to the new Ikidami here. I hope you're doing well, safe and sound. As much as I'm excited to start exchanging ideas and sharing perspectives with all of you, of course, let me first discuss one of the most essential questions that might come to your mind while studying English. You might also be inquired by your peers or other people about why do we study English? Why do we need to learn English? Now, while sitting at home, school, or anywhere, English language gives you a free ticket to explore the world in various periods of time. The chance of accessing stories of people that may live far away in places we might never get to or encounter people from earlier historical periods. Think about it. The intertwined emotions of excitement, curiosity, happiness, and sadness that you feel while reading a novel, for example. Have you ever wondered how all these heightened emotions come to work perfectly together? Mind blowing, huh? Remember, English gives us a way not only of accumulating information, but a way of analyzing that information training you how to efficiently use English skills that you will acknowledge and master throughout the course, including reading, writing, speaking, and listening. How to think, how to write, and how to communicate. Now, let's talk about the book that we will be using for the whole year, My Perspectives. As you can see, the units are distributed among Volume 1 and Volume 2, including six units in total. The curriculum is very, very exciting and rich, as it covers various areas, and you will definitely find your interest in one of them. Aside from the diversity of genres such as poetry, drama, and fiction, each unit sheds light on specific important themes. Unit number two, survival, covers themes such as the importance of personal relationships, self, perception, the definition of family, freedom, and confinement. Unit three, the literature of civil rights covers themes such as freedom for black Americans, hope for the future, peaceful protest, and the effect of racism on youthful innocence. Unit number four, star-crossed romances, covers themes such as individual versus society, marriage, the overarching power of patriarchy, the ideological divide between the young and the old, the abiding quality of romantic love and violence. Unit number five, Journeys of Transformation, covers themes such as glory and honor, memory and grief, piety, customs and justice, nature and loneliness. Unit number six, World's End, covers themes such as superstition, magic and technology, war and destruction, the pursuit of knowledge, oppression, violence and faith. All these themes give you the chance to connect and explore old and new information, which will help you reflect upon all facets of 
life. Now, no matter how challenging you think the English course might be, always remember that you are welcome to ask me questions anytime. And please, please mind giving importance to the resources that I will provide you with and others that you'll, you'll find useful. Thank you so much for listening. Looking forward to meeting each and every one of you. Thank you and have a nice day.